I have no idea why Fujifilm doesn't talk about this. I have no idea why the information is not clear on this. There's no consensus on this. Does the X-H2S have dual native ISO? I mean, I think it's a very fair question and it should be very straightforward and it, you know, it should be a, you know, you just go on Google and it tells you yes or no. Now, the answer is not that simple. If you go to Google and you type in, does X-H2S have dual native ISO? The answer will come back saying, no, it does not. When I go and watch my, you know, favorite camera review channels like Gerald Undone, he says that F-Log2 and F-Log1, the dual native ISOs are different. He confirms, yes, the X-H2S does have dual native ISO. He says in F-Log2, uh, it starts at 1,250 and then it switches over to 3,200. Now guys, I don't know what happened. I know that obviously the X-H2S had an update. We got F-Log2C, but I just did a test comparing my X-H2S with the F-X3. I just wanted to see how well they stack up in a very low lit environment. And what I discovered might really surprise you. So as you can see here, I'm moving up the ISO range from 1,250. I'm shooting an F-Log2C. And then what you notice here is that at ISO 4,000, the image clears up dramatically. Now, guys, not only does the image clear up, like all the ISO noise goes away, but it all, it's almost as if the color shift gets corrected as well. The big problem with high ISO is that a lot of times, yes, of course, you have very grainy image, but the big problem is that there might be a color shift. So I found this extremely interesting because I I always thought that the X-H2S's high dual native ISO is 3,200, just like, you know, what everybody else said. But now I'm, I'm very surprised to find out it's actually at ISO 4,000. And guys, this to me does not look like it's like artificially done in the body. Like, you know, just like the image is getting cleared up. It actually looks like a higher circuit gets switched on. Like something like you would normally see in dual native ISO sensors. You can see kind of like a, it's almost like a flicker and then the image clears up. So to me, that just tells me it, it sh looks like to me, in my opinion, it looks like it's a dual native ISO getting kicked on at 4000 ISO. So yeah, guys, I really felt like I needed to get this out there. I need, I felt like I needed to share this and I just want to get your opinion on this. Please comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Does this look like a dual native ISO to you? Does it look like it kicks on at 4000 ISO? Please let me know. And yeah, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.